Are you curious to know what's going on with the Arizona real estate market these days? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you the whole lowdown on that. Plus, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how this market can be more favorable for buyers. Hi guys, I'm Alejandra Palladino, your local Arizona real estate agent. If this is your first time to this channel, you're going to want to subscribe. I share tons of great information about living in Arizona, moving to Arizona. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell. That way you get alerted every time I do a new video. My team and I are getting so many phone calls from you guys. We love it. Gosh, we love talking to you, helping you. So make sure you reach out so we can help you. As we all know, the interest rates recently shot up so quickly that it's almost like someone pulled the emergency brake on the real estate market and it started to feel a little bit like chaos because the market that we got used to got turned upside down the Arizona real estate market was moving so quickly it was honestly not sustainable I remember sometimes having to write up offers before even viewing a house and that way I'd have it ready ready to go we'd view the house and I would submit it if my clients liked it I also remember having to come up with super creative offers like including free pizza if my clients got the house anything to help my clients and their offers stand out because oftentimes we were competing against 30 or more offers which is crazy and buyers were doing all kinds of things like agreeing to allow the seller to stay in the home for free up to a certain period of time well guess what those days are over <laughs> so good news for buyers I'm not really seeing that anymore at all uh, homes are barely getting multiple offers offer some of them are especially if you get that unicorn house that moving ready nicely done nicely remodeled all that good stuff then yes there are some homes getting the multiple offers but it's not as common like it used to be which is great news for buyers but these higher interest rates have pushed many buyers to the sidelines therefore having a noticeable impact on buyer demand so now what's happening is instead of homes quickly selling homes are sitting on the market longer homeowners that were sitting on the sidelines thinking about selling are now rushing to list their houses for sale. They're starting to think, oh no, I want to sell at the peak. I want to sell before the market crashes. Unfortunately, a lot of them think the market is going to crash and home prices are going to go down drastically. Not saying they won't go down, but so far the experts are all saying that they're just going to reduce a little bit and the market is softening a little bit. But again, no crash has been predicted in the near future. The amazing thing is that as of Wednesday, there are 12,000 homes available for sale in Phoenix metropolitan area. Let's compare that to last year, May, June of last year, there was 4,000, yup, 4,000, 12,000. That's a huge difference in homes. We're still not in a balanced market, but it's starting to feel like a balanced market just because we have so many more homes available. For those that keep thinking there's a housing bubble about to pop, well, if we look at the marketplace, the fundamentals today are completely different than back in 2008. Back then there was a lot of false demand that was created by mortgage-backed securities. Luckily financial regulations are in place now. The Dodd-Frank Consumer Protection Act basically prevents that 2008 activity from happening again, which is great. What happened back then is there was cheap debt, shady lending practices, and financial acrobatics being done that was basically getting people into homes, into mortgages they could not afford. So then the whole thing kind of imploded and we know what happened. People have equity in their homes and values have gone up a lot. Most of the larger lenders are allowing loan modifications in case someone does run into financial trouble and they need to modify their loan for any reason. Now, if some of them say, no, you got to sell, the great thing is these homeowners have so much equity, they can sell their house, pay it off, and usually walk away with money. That's why what happened in 2008 is not going to happen again. Now, there are some situations where someone is upside down on their house but honestly that's more the rarity these days than the norm if we step back from 2008 we will see that during a recession values have only gone down twice in all of history that was in the early 90s and in the 2008 that we all remember the great news for buyers is houses are sitting on the market longer so instead of selling within a few days uh, or even a day at times they're now 
sitting on the market longer. I'm seeing 30 days on average these days. So this is great news for buyers. It gives you time to take your time, really think about the house, really imagine yourself, hey, can I live here? Do I wanna live here? What would it be like? Check out the neighborhood. So buyers are having more of that time to really think about this big purchase that you're gonna be doing. Since houses are not selling as fast, what I've started noticing is sellers are starting to give incentives so that to help their house sell basically. So what my team and I have started doing is instead of asking for a price reduction or offering less, I we've been negotiating for the seller to pay buyer concessions. What that means is they would pay a certain amount at closing. We use that money to buy down the rate. All of this is a customized strategy that my team and I would coordinate and work out with you directly to figure out what would work better, but we're able to get the rate down oftentimes 0.5% or higher. It just depends on how much concessions we can get from the seller. For instance, if we get enough seller concessions where we can reduce the rate by 0.5%, let's say we use an example of a $400,000 priced home and the lender had quoted you 5.5% interest rate, then those concessions would reduce the interest rate to 5% by buying down the rate. That would give you savings of $111 a month. Again, this is just one example. We would custom tailor this approach to you and what would work out the best. And again, what we could get from the seller as well. If this interests you at all, definitely reach out. We would love to explore this with you and help come up with a game plan to get you into your own house. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and click the bell so you get alerted when I have a new video. I'm putting them out weekly. I'm keeping you informed of the real estate market, sharing with you what it's like to live in different areas, showing you new construction. Make sure you comment below or message us directly if you want to see anything in particular or have any questions. Thank you again for hanging out. It's been fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.